Lacey with Leaping Lizard's Reptile Experience, and I think every day is a great day to learn with reptiles. video today we're going to do a word scramble that means I'm going to have letters throughout the video somewhere in the background and I want you to find four letters today you find those four letters I'll ask you a question at the end of the video and then you unscramble those letters to find the answer good luck so we're going to talk a little bit more about my lizard friend Bailey here today but first, I want to talk about what is a reptile. So reptiles have certain characteristics or features that they all pretty much share. The first one is, like humans, they breathe air. So they are air-breathing animals. Now, you might think that water turtles don't breathe air because they're underwater so much, but they actually have to come up and breathe air. So they are air-breathing animals. They also are vertebrates which means that they, like humans, have a backbone. So if you were to put your fingers right behind your head here, down by your neck, you could feel some bones. That is your backbone. It goes all the way down your back. These guys have a backbone as well. So they are vertebrates. They also are egg laying. Humans don't lay eggs, but reptiles lay eggs. And they are cold blooded. As cold-blooded animals, they have to find hot spots to get warm and cool spots to stay cool. So right now, you can see Bailey, and he is getting warm from the warmth of my leg. Humans are warm-blooded, but these guys are cold-blooded, so they do have to use the sun to warm up. And then when they get too hot, they can go into the shade or into a burrow, which is a, a hole that they dig under, underground to get cool. The other thing about reptiles is that they have Skin that is dry, scaly, and often has horned plates, kind of horny plates, and dry skin with scales. Obviously humans, we have hair, we have skin and hair, but these guys are a little drier and have scales. So that is what a reptile is. What is a reptile? What is a reptile? It is an animal that is cold-blooded. What is a reptile? What is a reptile? It has a backbone. It's a vertebrate. What is a reptile? What is a reptile? It has dry skin with scales or horned plates. What is a reptile? What is a reptile? It needs air to breathe and mostly lays eggs. What are some reptiles? what types of animals are reptiles. So reptiles include crocodiles, alligators, turtles, which include tortoises, snakes, and lizards. So where do they live? Do you know where snakes, lizards, crocodiles, reptiles of all types live? They actually live in just about every habitat or area in all of the earth. They can live here, 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 here. Yes, out in the ocean here, but they do not live down here. This is Antarctica, and it is way too cold for reptiles to live there. But alligators, crocodiles, turtles can live in freshwater, lakes, streams. You have turtles, sea turtles that live in the ocean. You also have lizards, snakes that live on the ground, and even some live in the trees. Bearded dragons are actually found in Australia, so they are endemic to Australia. They usually live in arid or semi-arid, which means dry or pretty dry places, like the deserts. Some reptiles are carnivores, which means that they eat meat. Some reptiles are herbivores, 
which means that they mostly just like to eat plants and fruits and things like that. And some, um, some are omnivores, like me. And they like to eat both meat and plants and fruit. So Bailey here loves to eat pretty much all of that. He is an omnivore. He loves to eat salads of kale, mustard greens, dandelion greens. Oh man, what else do you like? What's your favorite food? Bugs. Bugs, is that what you said? Yeah. Bugs are his favorite food. He loves super worms, horn worms, wax worms, meal worms, any worm pretty much that bearded dragons are allowed to eat, Bailey will eat. There are some hornworms, waxworms, mealworms, and superworms. So let's count how many bugs Bailey's hungry for today. because of this little beard that they have underneath their chin. If he gets angry, he can actually turn that beard super black, pitch black, and he can puff it up and hiss. So bearded dragons usually live up to about 10 years in the wild. In captivity, they can live a little bit longer. So as pets, they can live about 15 years. They have ears on the side of their heads that are internal. This little hole right there, hi, this little hole right there is where the sound comes in and they are very good at hearing. They also can see very well. One really cool thing that bearded dragons can do out in the desert is they can actually collect water on their heads. Can you believe that? So they will, if it rains, they will collect water right here on their heads and they can actually, as it drips down their face, they get a drink with their tongue. Animals that live out in the desert have to find cool ways to, to store that water. Another thing that they can do is called pancaking. Or a lot of times when people have bearded dragons or beardies as we call them, we call it a sploot just because it's a fun word. But what they do when they sploot is that if they want to get warm, they will lay on their bellies like this, and then they will just pancake out. He obviously is warm, and he's, I think he's going to jump to that table. But they will pancake out, which means they'll go flat like a pancake. And that helps them maximize their body surface so that they can get warm faster. Another really fun thing that they do, if there's a predator coming by and they don't want to be picked up, is they can actually puff themselves out a little bit, flatten down and puff out, and these spikes right here would be very pokey. So anything that's trying to grab it, put it in its mouth, would get poked and would not think that that was a very good meal. And they have really great nails for climbing. If they need to, say they can't find much food on the ground, but trees have really good food in them. If they need to, they will climb up the tree. They can get away from predators that way and they can find some new food up there. So they're really actually good climbers when they want to climb. Another thing bearded dragons can do is bob their head or wave their arms. Usually the head bobbing is a sign of dominance, which means you're in my space, I don't like it, please leave. <laughs> and usually the other bearded dragon in that instance would bob their head slower and wave their arm to say, 
I understand I'm in your area and you are the big beardy. This is your area. One of my favorite things about bearded dragons is that they can actually run upright on two legs like a human being. They don't do it very often, but if they need to escape a predator or somebody that wants to eat them or hurt them, they can kind of stand up and run at speeds of up to about nine miles an hour, which is about the average speed of a human. So if you were racing this guy, he might actually beat you. <laughs> so for those of you who are playing our word scramble, did you find all four letters? I'll give you a hint. They are G, S, U, and B. And here is your question of the video. What is Bailey's favorite food? See if you can unscramble those letters and figure it out. Thank you so much for joining us with this video today. If you don't want to miss out on any of our Leaping Lizards Reptile experiences, make sure to grab a grown-up and hit like or subscribe so that you get notified when we get a new video up. We have so many more reptile family members to share with you, so we cannot wait until next time. Until then, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram at Leaping Lizards Reptile. Do you think we should give them a hint of what's coming next? Do you think so? All right, well, here's your hint. We will see you soon. Thanks for watching.